As I said, uh, I had a, a discussion uh, directly with Secretary Pompeo last night and uh, uh, Minister Wang Yi from China the night before. And uh, they, are, they were fully aware with our diplomatic note to the uh, uh, United Nations. And our position has always been very, very clear and consistent. Um, what is important uh, in the case of the South China Sea, as I said in Parliament um, two days ago, um, we have to engage the superpowers as a bloc. We must not allow um, uh, countries in ASEAN to be divided uh, because our lone voice uh, will not be sufficient uh, to face uh, these superpowers. And I, I indicated this to, um, to the Secretary um, Pompeo and to Minister Wang Yi uh, without any uh, qualms about Malaysia's position. So, and, and, and they also agree with me that it is important uh, and it's to the benefit of everyone that we see our region stable, safe, um, and uh, finding a way to navigate this very complex issue of South China Sea um, will depend very much on the solidarity and the understanding um, of the ASEAN members, one. Secondly, you have to also understand that uh, dupl there are duplicating claims amongst the ASEAN countries themselves. Jadi kalau kita selesaikan masalah kita dengan China atau kita uh, bersama dengan Amerika Syarikat dengan dakwaan-dakwaan mereka, itu pun tak akan menyelesaikan masalah bila ada tuntutan bertindih dengan Filipin, Vietnam, Malaysia dan Brunei. Itu pun mesti diselesaikan di peringkat ASEAN itu dahulu. Jadi, um, we should not uh, allow ourselves uh, be dragged into the politics of the superpowers dan saya harap bahawa ianya tak akan uh, memperangkapkan kita dan tidak ada insiden-insiden yang tak diingini yang uh, akan mengeruhkan keadaan dan uh, mungkin um, terikut-ikut pula dengan naratif-naratif tekanan daripada kuasa-kuasa besar we will have to face them based on our terms and if we face them together uh, in ASEAN I think we have a better chance of solving the issue of South China Sea